everybody good afternoon welcome to our friday live it's live with lou i always love that so craft stash live 12 30 i was gonna say 2 30 and there's a reason for that i'll tell you in a moment 12 30 on a friday every friday we have brand new products for you amazing launches we have giveaways as well so don't forget to make sure you're commenting for those i'll give you more details in a moment and we have exclusive designers as well we have the most amazing people coming in and doing demonstrations just for you so make sure you're always setting your reminders so welcome whether you're watching on uh facebook whether you're watching on youtube we are so pleased to have you here. Please make sure you're commenting today. Make sure you are tagging us or tagging your friends and sharing us with your friends and on your news feeds and such because everybody who leaves us a comment is in the hat to win a selection of products. And today we are looking at a brand new paper discovery launch. It's the Teacup Fairies and I am absolutely in love with these. Now I am very, very British and I love my cups of tea and I particularly love the vintage style of teacups, teapots and things like that. But then you mix them with fairies and they are just so magical. Now, first of all, I'm going to go through the products in a moment, but I need to tell you that we have got a lot of offers on today though now very quickly um, if you want to jump ahead we have got spend over 35 pounds on the brand new paper discovery teacup fairies collection and you will get the free paper pad and of course that's while stocks last so make sure you're popping things into your basket really really quickly there's other offers in fact i'm going to tell you about those in a moment i want to go over and see our special guest first of all so let's go and say hello to the designer of paper discovery it's the lovely olga directorenko Hello, Olga. Hi, Lou. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good, good. It's so lovely to have you. And as an extra special treat this Friday, you are demonstrating live for us through the hour, aren't you? Yes, I, I'll do my best. Hope everything will go fine. But I have everything ready for the live demonstration. That's true. It 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 will be amazing. We saw you um we saw you demonstrating live. I think it may have been for the first time during one of our craft alongs on a Wednesday. You did an amazing job. It was fantastic. So we just had to have you live today. <laughs> so thank you teacup fairies tell us all about them well i always thought there is something magical about the tea parties and obviously i was inspired by all by all the fairy tales that i tend to read to my children and the movies we are watching and uh, the tea that i love <laughs> yeah of course <laughs> so you have uh, is tea as popular over there as it is here then Yes, quite popular. <laughs> yes, if anyone for anyone who doesn't know, uh, um, Olga is in Ukraine, so um, that's why I'm sort of talking to her. So she's in another country. <laughs> yes, and this collection, by the way, also has to do a lot with the spring and summer. So I believe that uh, everybody everybody's missing it. <laughs> Absolutely. Or if you have it already started, yeah, you, you'll be happy to have the product like those definitely there's some beautiful flowers and things isn't there involved in this collection now i know that just so we could see your beautiful face you're holding that camera for me as still as possible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back and go through the offers that we've got and allow you to put that camera down and get set up for your demonstration before your arms go a little bit numb okay but we'll be back with you very shortly for those demos thank you thanks olga <laughs> Oh, she's so, so lovely and so talented. If you've never seen Olga demonstrate before, uh, this is your chance to see something extraordinary. She, What she doesn't know what to do with paper isn't worth knowing. It really isn't. Now, would you like to see some of this collection? Okay, I'm actually, look, I'm painting it all about. There's so much. Look around me. I've got cards above me. I've got cards around me, but not just cards. We have got three-dimensional elements as well. Now, I think this is the standout product for the entire collection. I am absolutely in love with this. Would you like to come down to my desk and just have a little peek at what Olga's going to show us? Now, Olga is going to talk us through everything in detail, so I'm going to do a very, very quick look through. But as I said, we are talking about a three-dimensional teacup and saucer with the spoon as well. They are going to create things like this for you. This is the one I just held up for you. Um, I've got another card here with half a, half a teacup on with the florals in as well. As you can see, Olga said, 
um, lots of spring and summer feels with this and you absolutely do get that. We've also got our vintage looking teacups and doily and such sentiment stamps as well. All of these clear stamps, they stamp absolutely beautifully. The detail is amazing. We have got embossing folders as well. Here we go, look at this, not only embossing folders, we have got the cut detail included. I'm sure Olga will show you exactly how they work if you've never seen those before. We have doily dies as well. Doily die sets, three sets in, three dies in, they're absolutely stunning. They're going to work so well with your teacup. I'll say a quick hello to people in just a moment. Thank you for all your comments. Please make sure you just tick that uh, share button and make sure everybody knows you're watching today. Uh, and then we move on to the fairies. So the fairies work so well with the teacups. I'm going to come back to this one again actually and just show you the fairy sitting in the teacup there. Just the sizing is absolutely perfect. So you've got the clear stamps there. So, so stunning, aren't they? The detail is amazing. We've got the wings that you can either put on the, the fairy that's standing up, sort of, you can imagine her walking through a meadow there, uh, or we've got the fairy that's sort of crouched down, you can use just one wing on. So there's different ways. We've got silhouettes, we've got vines, and more sentiments as well. This is an amazing collection. We have those outline dies as well for those stamps that you've just seen. Of course, outline dies are so important. There's a lot of detail in the stamps. You don't really want to be fussy cutting those out. So then we've got another embossing folder. You can see I've been using these. These are my own ones and I am in love with this collection. I've used these a lot. Yours won't come with brown inside. I've been inking mine up, but this is an embossing folder still with the paper in. That's terrible, isn't it? Uh, but again, it has the cutting die inside. So you're going to be cutting that door, not all the way out either, just half, just a little bit so it opens beautiful large florals here as well um let's come back to just this one just to show you some of the roses that you can be creating using this set you've got dragonflies bumblebees butterflies snails other florals as well um i've got so much inspiration all around me and i am knocking it everywhere now I did mention if you're spending over £35, you're going to get the free paper pad. And this is that paper pad. Let's have a look at the design. Let's start at the beginning. This has to be my favourite sheet. And I think it is the only one left in my, my pad here because I've been using it so, so much. It is stunning. I love it. Now, let's just flick through a few more. Yes, that one I did lift out and put at the front on purpose because I didn't know if we'd get to it otherwise. We have got stunning sort of Wedgwood-like details in here, the blues and the whites and the creams. <gasps> Look at this background as well. This paper pad is 180 GSM. Look at this card. Okay, this card has been created, a stepper card here with the fairy on. How well does that work with the silhouette of the vines? It's amazing. All using that fairy collection of course and the backing papers we've got lots and lots of detail in here i will go through this again a little bit later on because i know olga is eager to get into the products in more detail but like i say if you are spending over 35 pounds on these products today the teacup fairies you're going to have the option to pop this into your basket absolutely for free and then there's the three chances to win a selection of these products as well simply by commenting on this video wherever you are watching we will browse through all the platforms that are viewing this video and choose a couple of winners at random at the end i say a couple it's three a few winners at random at the end to win a selection of goodies so make sure you're commenting for that now i believe we are ready to go to olga i can see she's all set up ready for demonstration i'm going to be as quiet as possible i know that's difficult for myself but i'm going to be as as quiet as possible and allow Olga to demonstrate and do what she does best so Olga you are free to take it away my love hello welcome back so uh, normally when I'm demonstrating I tend to start with the largest die set but this time I think I'm going to start with the second largest because it's most obvious and it's easiest to use. Okay. That's a set of doilies, and there are three dies included in the set, just the three, and uh, here are the die cuts that they actually create. The largest doily is five and a half inches, and the smallest one is uh, two and a half. You can uh, totally use them for any projects, the cards, they're great for scrapbooking to create additional layers, mm -hmm. and uh, this largest one can actually be used as a coaster. Yes. So when you have a tea party, yes, you can just uh, die cut a bunch of them out of red paper. You can customize them by using any stamp that fits the occasion. Lovely. And uh, there you have it. 
They're so beautiful. You can also layer them to create a kind of uh, medallion, or you can combine them with um, a simple circle die, and this way you can create a circle frame that is not just plain but a bit fancier. Lovely. Perfect. So really so, lovely for, for uh, adding elements onto a card with a nice frilly background as well. Yeah, that very straightforward. And uh, of course, uh, this set is going to work with the other dice from this collection. So let's move on to the largest pack. Actually, here it is. Uh, this one is obviously meant for pop-up cards. And... Um, I'd like to show you exactly how it works. So here are all the die cuts that are created with this set. I loved, I loved how easily this went together, Olga. It was just so simple. Yeah, yeah and uh, the largest elements are for creating the pop-up and all those smaller ones can be used as embellishments and not only for uh, this project, but also for decorating any kind of project you have. This rose, by the way, is a layered image, so you can create a background and an overlay Lovely. with it. Perfect. There's a bunch of flowers and leaves. So let's see how it works. This set is meant to create a teacup, and I'll show you very quickly how to put it together. So with this cup, you might think uh, the die also, sorry, the die have already created some score lines yeah. and I scored on them. And what you would want to do is to put it together like this. But uh, there is a little trick about that. If you move it just a little bit up or down or to the side, it might not fall down properly. Okay. So the easiest way to do it is, is you just fold it in, in half and lay it down flat. And then you apply the glue to the tab only okay. hold it down and you stick it down like this while it's looking perfectly and then it's going to fold the uh, flat in that very position brilliant so that's easy to do but just a little thing not to forget so if you are creating a pop-up card what you would want to do is to make an additional score line right here around the, along that central line like this and then it's going to fold in half like that so the cup can be attached very easily you just well, you just use the tabs and you feed them through those slits like that and then you can attach them with the adhesive at the wrong side. I see. Just like this. Very simple. And here you have the cup image. You can also attach a, what do you call it? A handle. Handle, yeah. <laughs> of course, a handle to it. So there are little tabs. And what I like to do is to die cut it twice. Okay. And this way I can attach the two together. And we'll have the tabs at both sides this way. You can feed them through because there are two slits all already created by the die. You feed it through. It's one of those things then you, it, that's so easy, but if you try to do it live, it, it can just get caught for a second and a second feels like a minute. <laughs> yeah. So, you attach them like this. I won't be attaching uh, the second one just to save some time. And you can see the element. There is also one shape here. Mm -hmm. I like to use just, it's similar to the handle. Okay. You also feed it through that central slit. You attach it at the wrong side like this. And what it is made for is um, that additional just um, additional space to attach more elements. Okay. So you can attach your flowers and whatever you want to put inside, not only to the sides of the cup, but also on the inside. And this way you can really create lots of layers. Lovely. And to attach it to, to the card base, you 
is simply take the card base, I'll show it to you now. You attach some adhesive here at the wrong side and you see it folds down perfectly now. Wow, that is so clever. You attach it inside your card. Sorry. Oops. Don't stick it to it's your desk. Funny. There's a top tip. <laughs> and then you simply put it here at the fold. Fold down the card. And then you can open it up and you have your card, the little cup. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. Do you know what, everybody? You need to make sure that you save this video so you can come back and watch this demonstration because when you receive your teacup dies, uh, you're going to want to be reminded how to put it together. So definitely make sure you are bookmarking, saving, however you want to do it on the platform you're watching on. And uh, the question that you might have is why there, there were no score line already created in the center of uh, this um, doily. And uh, the answer is it's not only for pop-up cards. This thing can be used to create the gift bags or party bags. And by the way, it can also be a basket. You just cut it out of uh, craft paper. You can add some texture with your inks. And uh, you add it to the doily just the same way as we did for the cards. Brilliant. You stick everything down, of course. And then you can fill it up with actual with real treats yes we like treats or you can create any 3d um, or you can create a similar 3d decoration with flowers or mushrooms or fruit whatever you want to fill your basket with and by the way if you just add a strip of uh, cardstock like this wow and here you have the perfect basket as well that's amazing, Olga. So, so many uses. It's so versatile. And that's just one of the die sets in the collection. Of course, like in the example that you have shown, you can only use half of this cup. Yes. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So really easy yeah, to, to, to do. create the half of the basket. Brilliant. So this is the main largest set. And of course, what I wanted to show you is that it perfectly works with the doilies as well. So you can use this doily from the set instead of the one included. You simply fold those tabs down. Right. And you stick down onto a doily like this and you can have a cup or a basket sitting on a doily. Oh, that's lovely. That is so, so sweet. Um, Olga, do you need, do you have some other things to show us in this demonstration or do you want me to pop away and come back. Uh, I can show you more. <laughs> just um, the key that should, should, should we, don't, we don't have a lot of time, I, I believe. So I will just quickly show you the die cuts. Okay. So this is just a die set. And this one is meant for creating the 3D flowers. So uh, here are the flowers. It's actually three inches wide, mm -hmm. quite large. And you can also you also add um, a stenciling detail to it if you want to, and of course you can use your flower shaping tools. Yes. And you can create a dimensional flower. You can use those flowers on uh, the pop-up cards. In this case, you just attach them flat. Yes, of so course. They can yeah. be and it's a three D project. Yeah, you shape them like usual. This leaf, by the way, is also a layering image. They can work. You see, this one has veins, so it can be used on its own, and this is the lacy one, but they can be used together. Same is with this small flower, and I absolutely love the insects, the dragonfly, the bee. They're really intricate. You can see all the detail that they uh, are it stunning. Has. And so just, the flower center is also included. They are so, so, so pretty. Another image I'd like to show you is that that stem. This is the next product. And what I love about this kind of stamps, it's kind of um, etching. It imitates the etching. And that means you can use them without coloring. So if you don't like to color, it's quite enough to stamp because there's enough detail here 
inside uh, the outline uh, there are shading already created for you so if you want to color it go ahead but if you don't it's going to look fine just like it is the next is that fairy one and those fairies are meant for coloring actually but they also have lots and lots of details it's amazingly detailed image and uh, you can color it simply uh, with a solid color even and uh, the rest of the detail is created by the stem or you can use the pencils and that's just what i would recommend here you see these images colored actually my daughter did it oh did she <laughs> Oh, you're getting old, right. you're getting your daughter to do your work for you. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time, but I think she could do it. She's an art college student. Oh, perfect. And, um, if you are like me and you have a nice set of pencils, but you hardly ever use them, this stamp is a great way to start using your pencils Definitely. because uh, you can add all those tiny details. Absolutely, they're but, so so pretty. You know, these fairies. There are also two cotton emboss folders mm -hmm. included in this, but we'll uh, I think we'll talk about uh, them later okay. because I will be demonstrating them. Oh, perfect. Yeah, and uh, of course the pattern paper pad. This is A5 size. That is eight and a quarter by five and three quarters, and we are going to use this one as well in the next demonstration. So stay tuned. Excellent, lovely. Okay, so I'm going to um, pop back, give you a breather, Olga, <laughs> let you get set up for your next demonstration. And uh, I'm going to say hello to a few people as well. So we'll be back with Olga very shortly. So I know I did promise to say hello to you all. I've seen the comments rolling in and I didn't want to interrupt Olga, so I apologise for that. But um, yes, we have. So hello to uh, Roseanne watching. Hello to Mandy. Hello to Ella. Uh, to Steph. To Jill Fletcher. To um, Christine Howard. Mariana. Ursula. Julie. Joan. Jill. Kate. Thank you all so much for watching. I wish I could personally reply to every single comment coming through. But I have lots and lots of other offers and such to show you now. And we did talk about the free paper pad that you're going to be getting if you spend over £35. I've talked about that a lot. But did you know, have you spotted already, that actually these teacup fairies are going to work so, so well with lots of other paper discovery collections? Okay, now one in mind for me is the Creative Castle. Do you remember that launch from maybe it was a couple of months ago now? It wasn't that long ago, so it's still quite new. Because the Creative Castle, and that's this huge die set here, have a look online at craftstash.co.uk because this is today's deal of the day, which means you are saving, I believe it's seven pounds on this die set. Imagine, fairies around a castle. This castle, when it's put together, is almost as tall as this in fact it's almost like a a4 size it's massive it's a three-dimensional castle but you can alternatively also use it on your flat cards as well and you have things like brickwork and lattice pattern dies in there a fantastic die set with so much versatility but not only that we also have get this 35% or up to 35% off of other paper discovery collections for you now. I mean, that is absolutely amazing. That means that you can get the brand new collection, but you can also go and have a look at some of the older collections as well, because these are going to work so well with them. If you want all the details, if you pop on over to craftstash.co.uk, when you go on the homepage, there's banners at the top this happens every day and it changes every day the top deals are always there it's well worth when you get up with your coffee or tea 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 today isn't it we're called talking teacups go straight onto craft stash and just flick through those banners at the top because they are going to be your top deals for the day and like i said they do change every day and then when you click on those banners you're taken straight to the products that are on offer that is just the easiest way of keeping on track of everything so there's no code for the up to 35% off. They have all been discounted on the website. So go and have a rummage through. Just check out the brands and scroll down. You can actually go through alphabetically to paper discovery. Now, something else that's 35% off as well at the moment is Apple Blossom. So did you see my craft along on Wednesday at 2 p.m.? You can still go back and watch that. So I started using some Apple Blossom. It was um, a year in flowers collection, but there's lots of Apple Blossom on the website. A fantastic brand. And 
you can get 35% off. Now, during the craft along, I told you there's a secret code and you needed to pop on over to Craft World to get it. But today I'm breaking all the rules and I'm going to give you that code, okay? The code to get 35% off of Apple Blossom right now is Lou35, L O U 35. Go and use that now because it doesn't last for many more days. Okay, be really quick. I'm going to leave you with all of that information and I'm going to go back to Olga to see what she's going to demonstrate for us next. So, Olga, are you ready for us? Yes, I'm here. Brilliant. So, what I would like to show you is how to work with the cotton embossed folders because it might be a new product for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. This one is actually really easy to do. This one is meant for uh, for five by seven format, but four and a quarter by five and a half is going to work just as fine. Here I have um, the four and a quarter by six paper around that size. I'm placing it inside the folder, just as normal. Like okay. This is uh, uh, the normal sandwich that I use for embossing folders. Okay. And uh, by the way, if you want more tips on how to work with embossing folders, I do have a wonderful tutorial at Craft World. And uh, there I explain if you have any problems under embossing or over embossing, how to deal with that and how to make any producer folder work for any die cutting machine. Brilliant. So what we are doing now is simply sending it through the machine with a proper sandwich i'm just measuring for you because um i'm just checking somebody asked i'm sorry scrolling back what the size of the largest fairy is so i just thought before i forget i'm doing that now so the fairy the lovely fairy that stands up is four and a half inches tall um, and uh, she's just over two inches wide with her hands. Okay, so hopefully that answers you. I apologise, I can't scroll back and find out who asked that, but it's there somewhere. Sorry, Olga, sorry to interrupt you. That's okay. So this is what is created with this die. You can see some uh, cutouts here. Lovely. And uh, the door is actually opening and closing, and you can see all the details around it. Beautiful. Putting together a card like this is really simple, so we just, I'm just going to add some inking. Actually, a card like this will be perfect for mass producing, and this is what I'm going to do for Valentine's Day. Oh, is it? Yeah, for, for school Valentine's Day for the children, I think we'll make them for all the girls in, in my <laughs> son's class, so that he won't be blamed of falling in love with just one. Of course. So, uh, what we are doing, I'm going to mask off the door like this. Okay. I'm going to the uh, piece of paper. It's the non-stick paper, but anything can be used. And I'm going to apply the good, the good old distressing all around that door. I'm simply going around with circular motion, and I'm using that um, Craft, uh, craft stash sponge, mm -hmm. which is very similar to a makeup sponge. You can actually apply the makeup with it if you want to. Yeah, yeah. So craft yeah. stash have an amazing range of ink blend blending tools and I've actually just created a video for them recently on the blending sponges and showing you all the advantages. So if you've not used blending inks before uh, and you're a bit confused about all the tools you can use, you can go over and check that out on craft stash too. Yeah, this one really leaves no lines. That uh, creates very soft edge, and it's perfect for blending. If you want the gradient, the soft gradient, that's the perfect tool, I think. Lovely. So now I'm applying the darker color all around it, and you see the two colors are actually blended, and the areas that are embossed are going to stand out more because they are taking up more ink. Right. Yes. So because they're raised. Just like this the background and I'm not even changing the sponge I'm going to use the same one but I'm going to mask it the opposite way I know I'm putting the door on top just like that here I'm creating the line and there you see it so now I'm going to apply the same way I'm just using the more bluish greenish tones this time 
And I'm not even cleaning out the sponge because if some color from the background gets on the door, it will make the image just more realistic. Okay. I, that's such a clever idea, though, to mask it off with the paper and do the door and the background different colors. Um, Beverly Miller says the door was the first thing to catch her eye. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, Christine says the door is so clever as well. We're, we're all loving this um, this little fairy door. I have one. Oh, I love this door, it's the barn doors, and uh, I hope we'll make something similar in our own garden soon. Yeah, <laughs> I've actually it's... got a fairy door in my garden. You do? Huh? I do. I promise I didn't buy it from the shop and put it there. The fairies built it. Mind you, it took months for my husband to even notice it was there, and he's the one that does the gardening. So here we have our image. The door is opening like this. All we have to do is to put it now onto the onto our card base. But before I do that, I'm actually going to place one of the papers behind the door. Ah, oh, that's clever. It's going to be a. a a kind of a secret garden scene. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be a garden behind the door. But if you want it to be a room, there are a couple of uh, dice, or, or sorry, stamps by Paper Discovery that do create a room. So you simply have to stamp the image uh, behind the door on the card base, and then you can look inside this way. Lovely. I think that's really clever. So, I'm sticking down my background. Now I'm going to apply some adhesive there. Don't forget everybody to make sure you are commenting. Just say hello. That's all we need from you. And your name is in the hat to win a selection of Olga's brand new teacup fairy goodies. So I love reading the names out at the end. It's probably one of my favourite parts of doing the lives, you know. So now I have simply attached that thing onto my card base. And here you can open the door and look into the garden. Aww. You can also, what you can do, what I'm meant to do for children's card, is color this little heart here. It's just going to quickly show you. And I'm going to stick it down onto the background like this. Maybe it will be a red. You can make it red if you want to. And here you can write a little personal message. Aww. That will make a, a simple Valentine's card and perfect for mass production. But you can also make it, this card a little bit more special. And um, for that, I was going to just... just and I, there. I think Olga's craft room is probably just much like that. everyone else's. In <laughs> losing things. <laughs> that fairy image here just very quickly I'm placing the matching die that you were talking about around the image I'm going to send it through the die cutting machine right now and then I'm going to use that fairy on my project sorry I went out of sight um, Sue Pollock is watching. She said, read my name out, please. So there you go, read your name out. <laughs> I tried to catch as many as possible, but obviously there's so many of you watching and commenting all the time. Um, Deborah Wright from Staffordshire is loving the live. Um, and another Deborah, Deborah Plowman. You can see that door being surrounded by flowers. Of course. So we can do now is to take that image I'm going to apply some glue where do you get your ideas from Olga what is it? where do I get my ideas yeah from fairy tales of course <laughs> of course <laughs> fairy, fairy tales are not just for children I think they are meant for adults in the first place so as I'm attaching the fairy, I'm making sure her face is in the window. So see, you, when you open up, you can see the fairy sitting on the flowers. She goes perfectly with that background. She does. And when you close up the door, you can see her. Oh, look at that. Window. That's adorable. From 
that that is and that's all the card is done if you want you can attach the plate with the sentiment yeah. or let's say a happy birthday saying or anything is using this card for but it can also it actually go without the sentiment if you want it to. amazing so the cotton emboss folder with the door lovely thank you so much for showing us that i will give you a breather um do you have one more demonstration for us in a moment yeah, I can show you another card. Okay, I'll come back to you in a few moments. I'll let you clear up and I'll go through all of today's offers and everything um, while Olga's taking a breather, maybe having a bit of a cup of tea. Um, so we have got so much going on on the website. You've seen the new collection. We have new launches all the time, virtually every day. We've got new products being launched and very often we try to do deals and offers on those as well. But there were four new things that hit Craft Stash just this week. Now, do you love your magazines? I think for me, getting a magazine, going, going or receiving a magazine and planning time, me time to read it is one of the best things ever. I make sure I've got a lovely hot drink or a cold drink, depending on the time of day. Um, I make sure I run myself a nice hot bubbly bath and I get in there, I lock the door and I just spend an hour in the bath with a magazine. That, that's person, that's how I relax, okay? Absolutely adore that. What's your favorite magazine? Did you know that over on Craft Stash, you can actually subscribe to magazines so they are delivered to your door every month. No need to trek down the shops and hope that they've got it in stock and wonder what day it's going to be coming out. Uh, but there's always offers on these subscriptions as well. Now, two magazines that just came out for you. So Love Sewing, have you seen it yet? Do you like a bit of sewing? Because of course, we just watched on Wednesday, I think it was Wednesday night, uh, The Sewing Bee is back. Is everybody loving that? I'll, look, I'll keep an eye on the comments. Who loves a bit of sewing as well? I think paper crafting and sewing, a lot of you, it comes hand in hand, doesn't it? If you love one, you tend to like at least having a, a little dabble in the other. Um, so with, of course, Sewing Bee, Love Sewing magazine is absolutely going to be one of those things that you're going to be learning so much from. You're going to be inspired from both the magazine and the show. Now, this month's Love Sewing has an amazing three patterns in. It's absolutely huge. It's a bumper pack. So that's just been launched. So make sure you go and check that one out. Uh, there are other magazines as well, but one I want to tell you about particularly because it's one of my personal favourites is um, Simply Cards and Paper Craft. Now it's been going a very, very long time and the latest issue has just been released. But if like me, you'd like to subscribe to that, if you subscribe right now, there's quite a few offers on actually. So you can subscribe for a year and get the option, I say it's an option, I mean, who wouldn't take it? A free Crafter's Companion guillotine worth 40 pounds with that subscription. Now, if you think about how much you pay for the magazine each month, 40 pounds, you're getting quite a few months free as such there aren't you but there's also other offers as well such as uh six months worth of magazines for about 24 25 pounds something like that go and have a look under magazines scroll down to the bottom of that menu choice there's magazine subscriptions and you can see everything there you're going to love them and we do have new releases all the time now um, I think Olga's ready. She's gone very quiet. I don't think she's tidying up and getting ready anymore. Do you want one more demonstration from Olga before I recap all these offers for you? I will again try to make sure I keep on top of the comments and ask Olga any questions from you as she's demonstrating. Olga, are you now ready for one more demonstration? Yes, I'm quiet because I'm up to something. <gasps> oh, is so... she? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to demonstrate you. This is the second cotton emboss folder. Lovely. And this one is really interesting and it's very versatile. Perfect. Much more versatile than you, than you might think. It's also meant for 5 by 7 um, format. And this is what I'm using. I'm simply placing the metallic part stuff inside that folder. And I'm going to run it through just like I did with the door emboss. Okay. Now, somebody did ask a little while ago about your die cutting machine. Could you just tell us what machine you've got there, please? Uh, this one is platinum by Spellbinders, and uh, it's the large die. Oh, I think eight. Oh, she's eight and a half inches by. I guess. Lovely. Sorry, Sorry I, think we, I think we froze you for just a moment. Could you just repeat what you said about your magazine? Uh, sorry, your magazine, your machine, please. It's platinum, platinum die cutting machine by Spellbinders. Lovely. There it is. 
Thank you. Um, that and this is the large die cutting machine, eight and a half by 12 inches. Perfect. And that's about A4, isn't it? Yes. Eight, A4 or eight and a half by 11, you can use the bulk format. So what uh, the folder does is that it embosses that lovely background, it cuts out uh, the circle window, and it creates that lovely plate, and it cuts out the teapot all in one go. That's what you are going to have just by sending wow. it through the machine once. That's amazing. So so what I'm, I think that's too... Okay. Sorry, I keep talking over you. That's two techniques in one pass. That's brilliant. So so time saving. And what I'm going to do now is uh, to cut and emboss just uh, the circle piece, just that little one. You don't have to do the entire card each and every time. So, and then... looking at this, Olga, because you've got the teacup in the middle and the florals on the outside, you could use it. Uh, away from the tea theme, couldn't you? If you put something else in the middle instead, of course you can put. You can create a shaker card. You can put a picture of the person inside oh. <laughs> with, with the flowers, and uh, that's going to make a perfect personalized card. Or you can frame it. You can put this in entire thing with the picture into the five by seven frame, picture frame, and that's a nice idea. just expose it. Lovely. So I die cut the, that little circle one more time. And now that's pretty much all we have to do. Now I'm going to start putting the card together. So first I'm attaching that um, background with the window right onto the card base. Like this and it's going to be a five by seven card. That embossing is beautiful on the mirror card. It stands out so well. Yeah, uh, any shiny, shiny material is perfect for for using with embossing folders. Mm -hmm. It makes everything stand out immediately without even applying any ink or doing anything else. So with that white circle, I think I'm going to apply just a tiny bit of ink, like I did before, just to make that T for two. Okay. Stand out more. And you can see that... Um, the folder also creates that embossed circle all around all around the outline here. Lovely. When we come back after this demonstration, I will show people a few more of the cards that I've got laying around that people have made, our design team have been making with your collection, Olga, because I think it's so worth looking at them close up. Of course. And here I think I would use that doily as well because they are perfect for using with that embossing folder it fits really so, well um then we've had quite a few questions about magazine subscriptions um since i last talked to you about them i will answer your questions when uh, olga's finished i don't want to overshadow her wonderful demonstration with talk of magazines but keep stay tuned and i will answer those questions in a moment so here all you have to do is to simply attach that um doily onto the card and i'm adding the circle with the sentiment as well that is so pretty just, just stick it down in the center and here i'm going to use instead of that white teapot i'm going to inlay the metallic teapot in the center oh look at just that so you don't need loads of colour or anything, do you? You've just worked so beautifully with the pale colours and the silver there. You don't even need a lot of products. Here, I have just used the embossing folder plus a doily. You can even use a real paper doily if you have it, or you can skip the doily and uh, end up with that uh, lovely card in just a few minutes. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay. Would you mind for me, Olga, just holding up um, each of your, your two cards that you've made up a bit closer to the camera, just so we can see them as closely as possible. Um, hopefully it won't play with the focus too much. Lovely. Look at the this is detail. And this is the fairy one. 
They are so pretty. Thank you ever so, ever so much. Um, I'm going to quickly whip through the rest of the collection for everybody so you can see exactly what's available and talk about the offers um, and show some more inspiration as well. But Olga, thank you so much for joining us uh, in this hour. Um, are you, you don't look like you've finished. I thought you'd finished. She's still crafting. I just wanted to show you a little, just a tiny bit. By all means, go ahead. I thought, sorry, I thought you'd finished. <laughs> you see, actually, I'm finished with the card, but I do have those two pieces left, and I and I hate throwing things like those away. So <laughs> what you can do is I'm inlaying the teapot into the circle, just like this, and what I can do with it is I can use it as an envelope seal. So ah. here I can put the card into the envelope. I made this one with the envelope punch board. This is five by seven envelope. And you can have, you can seal it like that. Oh, look at that. With this way you have the matching envelope for your card. I think we Just need a round of applause for that. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's how you can use the leftovers. That's amazing, Olga. Thank you so much. And I love that if you just want to use a small part of the embossing folder, I guess you just put a tiny bit of the cardstock in and just cut out that circle if you want to. Um, just so, so clever. Well, thank you for a couple of reasons, Olga. Thank you for bringing us this new Teacup Fairies collection because I am in love with it. And I know I'm going to be creating for both children and adults for months to come with it. Um, and thank you for demonstrating live for us today. Um, how have you found it live? Because you usually send us videos in, don't you? Do, have you enjoyed it? I quite enjoyed and I'm looking forward to see how it actually looked on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, poor Olga can't see what you can see. She is uh, demonstrating blind as such, so to speak. So she's done an amazing job. I'm sure everyone will agree. Um, and I'm sure Olga will jump and have a look at the comment, all the lovely comments you've been leaving her as well. Now, Olga, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, um, but the next time we're hoping to see you is in May because we it's very exciting. We have our birthday week, Craft Stash's birthday week coming up in May. Uh, and we're going to have Olga and lots of other of our um, designers joining us that week. So first of all, Olga, prepare yourself <laughs> and... Um, hopefully we will see you during that time at some point. Fingers crossed live again. I will be happy to join that celebration. Yes, cannot wait. Well, thank you so much. I will let you go and get your very own cup of tea now if you want to um, and have a rest. <laughs> thank you, Lou, and thanks everyone for joining us. Take care, Olga. I think she's gone. I think she's she's shot straight off to the kettle there. Um, would you like to run through? Now, um, I did talk about the magazine questions. The majority of the questions were, um, maybe you're abroad. I think Benita said she's in Sweden. Somebody said they're in Australia. Can they subscribe to magazines? Yes, you absolutely can. There is an option when you choose to subscribe to one of the magazines that we have. And there are many titles, by the way. We've got crochet, we've got knitting, we've got sewing, we've got die cutting, we've got stamping, we've got just general paper crafts. Uh, there is an option to choose UK or I think it's rest of the world maybe Europe rest of the world I can't remember um, but yes there are options for all over the world so please make sure uh, you check that out and of course sometimes the deals will be different to the UK but you do get special offers across the board now would you like to have a little look at some of these products very quickly again just to finish off before I start announcing some of the winners names um, so I'm going to do two things here I'm going to show you uh, the products and where I can I'm going to show you a card made with them as well okay so this is the the beautiful embossing folder that of course Olga was just using so the T for two the cut and emboss folder uh, she showed us an amazing demonstration with it uh, we've got this one here I'm trying to see who drew, I don't know which of our design team made this but that has been created using those doily dies as well that is so so clever isn't it it's absolutely beautiful so there's that one then there's the fairy stamps as well I need to bring in this card here I need to show you this again because how whimsical how beautiful is this 
Um, again, I don't know. Design team, you need to be putting your names on cards so I can give you a shout out. We want to know who the talent is making these cards. Um, we have got the beautiful backing papers there. Don't forget, if you're spending £35, you're going to get that paper pad completely for free with your order. Uh, but we've got the papers and we've got the stamps of that fairy in there. And there's even some sparkle added. Isn't that beautiful? Then we do have that paper pad, as I said, 180 GSM. I've pulled this one out because it's my favourite sheet of all. And coincidentally, it's the one that Olga just used in her fairy door demonstration. I don't know why it's my favourite. can't tell you. It just is. But that's the one I used on the back of this card there in the background. And basically, it was the base basis for all of my colours as well. So there's that one. Whoops, just trying to stand that up. It keeps falling over. So there's that paper pad, uh, the, the teacup. Now, I think this is the star of the show, isn't it, this one? Um, I think this is the one that, the pop-up teacup. I mean, I th yeah, the main, the main item. So I've got the teacup here that's not pop-up, uh, but I'm so glad now that Olga has shown us how to create that into an actual pop-up card. If you didn't catch it, it was one of Olga's first demonstrations for us. You can watch this video back later on. Uh, make sure you save it. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you, you get reminders for the events on Facebook, all of these things, so you don't miss demonstrations demonstrations like this but the teacup the pop-up teacup was an amazing demonstration so you never know you might be winning that I think the lovely Maria is just now choosing the winners names for me so could be you just told it won't be long I'll be announcing those I can't wait these are gorgeous they stamp beautifully to me this says vintage tea room doesn't it vintage teacups you've got the teapots the doilies shall I read some of these out uh, life is like a teacup to be filled to the brim and enjoyed with friends um, you me and a cup of tea a cup of thanks oh that's nice isn't it a cup of thanks do you know what I've been using these on my craft desk and I think one of my cats has been sat on it as well because there's cat hair on that yours all come completely cat hair free I promise you um, everything tastes better with friends I just love these they're sentiments that can be used across so many different occasions and let's just show you a lovely card again this one's an easel card with that stamped cup and saucer there and the spoon those doily dies again a sentiment and in the background we've got those backing papers also so there's the doilies I don't need to go through those they are on so many of the cards that you are seeing now the outline dies for the fairies again we Olga used those in her demonstrations we have that fairy door that I was just talking about. Here's another example. Whoops. Here's another example of how that can be used there. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Okay. Now this one's been used backwards. And the reason being, I made this one, so I know who this one's made by. The reason being is because I wanted to impress the black ink into the door. So I flipped it and used it the other way round. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Um, but on the reverse, you've got the embossing raised up. So you could ink that afterwards, but I like to ink the embossing folder and impress it in. So either or, it's your choice. And then lastly, we have the florals here. So the Teacup Fairy Large Layered Rose Die Set. This is the one that used, where's my card gone? Here it is, to make those big flowers. Now, Olga did say that uh, you can make these completely flat. You don't have to make them dimensional if you don't want to. Okay, you can make them flat. Um, but I mean, just look at those. That's the largest one. I need to tell you actually, that's the largest one using, can you see there's three sizes there? The largest, the middle and the small. Um, the slightly smaller rose was just using the middle and the small. You can get even smaller roses just by using the small one there. So it's entirely up to you how you do that so there we go oh I need to tell you one more thing I need to tell you one more thing before I announce winners bear with me I'm going to come back to my face so you don't see my craft nap mat so um just so that you know talking about uh, the offers for the magazine so like I say you can subscribe to magazines 
anywhere in the world absolutely you can do that but as I did mention the offers are um, different to the UK so for example if you are overseas the crafters companion 40 pound uh, guillotine offer is only applicable to the UK okay because obviously postage and such like uh, so do check out your area for your own special offers and deals on those subscriptions now lastly I know you're all waiting for the names let's see so we have three winners I actually can't tell you where you're watching, I'm afraid. I just have the names. You'll know where you are. Congratulations to all of you. We have uh, Beverly A. Miller. Well done to you. We have Tony Jackson as well. I used to know a Tony Jackson, but I don't imagine you're the same one. Um, and we have as well Wilderness Rose. What a pretty name, Wilderness Rose. Um, well done to all three of you. If you'd like to message Craft Stash with your postal address, we will get a selection of the brand new paper discovery out to you. Don't forget all of the deals and offers that you've got on these now I am going to see you back um, here on Tuesday because of course it's what's hot that's at 2 p.m. we have an amazing selection of goodies all with a massive discount and on Wednesday make a note in your diary because we have keep crafting through lockdown as we have done for the last few months on a Wednesday a completely free craft along for you uh, this time we've got the lovely Lou Withers doing her own craft along and that is mindful coloring okay um, you are going to love this she she is such an amazing artist and what she doesn't know with a pencil and a pen you know again like I said with Olga and her paper crafting isn't worth knowing so please join her for that at 2 p.m. as well it's easy just jot down 2 p.m. and 2 p.m. on Tuesday and Wednesday and we will see you there thank you so much everybody for joining myself and Olga and for being absolutely lovely in the comments and we'll see you